Hey Taurus, welcome to Tyrone Hill. Welcome to your June reading. I hope all is well. Um, I come to you humbly God, thanking you for your divine guidance, providing messages of divine light, and divine love in accordance with your divine will. What is it that the Taurus Collective need to know? Okay, so I don't know why I'm getting this feeling of like somebody just doesn't want to look at something. It's something that someone wants to avoid, it seems like. Nope, I don't want to look at it. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to feel that. You know, and I feel like somebody might be feeling some regret and they don't want to, they don't want to feel it. They don't want to face the fact that they made a mistake, so on and so forth. All right, let's go. This is a Threads of Fate Oracle deck. All right. All the decks that I use are in the description box. What is it that the Taurus Collective need to know? What's the overall theme for June for Taurus? Too many cards. Okay. The Explorer. Bring in that new energy, baby. Following your heart. Making sure your intuition and your heart are aligned. Your mind and your heart are aligned. Whoa, yeah, with the love card coming out. All right. All right. <clears throat> we have the Explorer card coming out. All right, someone's exploring some options, okay? They're weighing options out. All right, you see this third eye um, along with the heart here, that type of energy. It's like aligning, aligning with your heart now, aligning with what your, um, intuition is telling you, or probably has been telling you. And I feel like somebody feel like they dropped the ball and they don't want to, they don't want to face that. They were ignoring their intuition. And now they finally realized that they made a mistake and they were ignoring their intuition all along. And it has to do with something. It has to do with love. All right. This is most certainly about to be a love reading. We have versatility coming out. Someone needs to be flexible. All right. Um, you know, Taurus is a fixed sign. So you guys might not be the most flexible people in the world. No shade. But um, yeah, this could be you or someone else. Yeah, change tracks. Wow. Okay. Whoa. Change tracks and be true to yourself. Oh my gosh. Yeah. All right. That's it. Aligning your your mind with your heart space that is going to be the goal for june okay because in doing so you'll step into your authenticity all right you'll once you do that once someone does that they're going to want to change tracks they're going to want to switch goals switch people switch relationships something like that someone's going to want to make a change it's something that they they wanted to avoid but now they can no longer avoid it Somebody could have been denying that they love someone and they they realize that they've been denying themselves of that love. Okay, and now they're like, oh shit, I messed up. <laughs> you know, that's what they're gonna do. All right, let's go. What's going on with Taurus? <sighs> What's going on with Taurus? For the first half of June. Thank you. Ten of one. Wow. Oh, come on. This is about to be heavy. All right. Someone doesn't want to look at it. They just want what they want. All right. Now, we do have the Ten of Wands here. Someone has this burden here. They want to drop it with the Devil card here. All right. The Devil card in reverse. The Fool card. They want... It's this burden. This... See, somebody's in a relationship. Okay. Is this the same storyline again? Okay. Listen. Okay. I'm going to keep going. It's like the Taurus Collective for the most part. Either you or someone that you're with or connected to. They've been going back and forth in their mind about a situation for a really long time. And they've been pretty deceptive about it. Okay. They've been playing the field. They've been trying to figure out. They've been dipping their toes in water. Not necessarily cheating, but some people probably were. Whatever. Okay. But somebody was trying to figure out whether they should jump ship or not, and they were weighing out their options. They're still weighing out their options. Um, but now it seems as if someone realizes that they actually do have to go. I feel like they already realized this in the last reading. So I don't get what the problem is, but let's go through it. So we have the Ten of Wands. The burden of stopping someone from taking a leap of faith that they're being guided to take, all right? 
Ten of Pentacles. They they have to walk away from a foundation of some sort. This could be a long term relationship. It could be a long term job, or right? something like that, to get the results that they want. But in order to get the for them, they've been trying to get the results by being like kind of shady about it. Are you guys still being shady? Is that if that's you? Like, come on. It's time to do some soul searching here, Hermit. Hermit card, okay? Do some soul searching. You'll realize, yes, you actually do want to move on. Like, it's not just a matter of, oh, maybe I just want to play around and, you know, have fun and I can just get this out of my system. It's not one of those get, get that thing out of my system situations. This is a situation where a foundation has broken and you're being intuitively guided into a completely different situation. And it requires a leap of faith. That's exactly what's happening here. All right. Somebody's trying to have their cake and eat it too. And they're just stopping themselves from moving forward. You see this eight of wands. This is a universe like pushing. This is an epitome of being pushed. Okay, you guys are being pushed, either you or whoever this is resonating with, they're being pushed, okay, and they're not allowing themselves to go, it's just like they're still holding on, the tornado is coming, and they're just holding on to this pole, like, no, you know, it's just, um, all right. The good thing is the devil card is coming out of her, so the toxic energy is being dropped, but the seven of swords is still coming out here, upright, why is this devil card here? Um, so they see the truth. They see the truth about what's toxic and what's a burden. They see the truth. And he, yeah, with the queen of cups here, it's just like, nope. They know somebody knows the truth and they're just avoiding the F out of it. Like, nope, don't want to go there. Your intuition, somebody's intuition is telling them they made a mistake. And they're like, nope, I didn't make a mistake. Nope, I wasn't toxic. Nope, I didn't mess this up. Nope, that wasn't the one for me. That's fine. Nope, that wasn't the one for me and I messed it up. <laughs> you know, that type of energy. Like somebody's not trying to face the music here. But they know it. The truth is there in their core. They know exactly what's happening, but they're ignoring the F out of it. <sighs> Once they admit to it, then they're going to have to take the leap of faith. Once they admit that they're, let's say, if this is you, if you, once someone admits that they're unhappy in a relationship, for example, it's going to propel, they won't be able to lie to themselves anymore and it's going to propel them out of it. They know that somebody knows that this is what's going to happen. So they're trying to prepare and that's where the sneaky energy comes in. Where someone's dipping their toes in the water, trying to test the waters and see, put their feelers out there and try to see who's who's down for them or who's not. Okay, see what the dating scene is like before they get out there. Someone doesn't want to face the fact that they're being toxic and being uh, manipulative by doing this. Straight up self-denial. It's not fair. It's not right. All right. It's not fair. Somebody is like, it's just heavy ego. It's heavy ego. Someone needs to do some soul searching. Okay. The hermit card is coming out here with the page of wands. It's like someone is, someone just wants to win. Someone doesn't want to lose. Right. So let's say someone's in a relationship. I'm tired of telling this damn story. I'm, I'm going to keep it real with you. You should check out the, the previous Taurus uh, readings. It'll pop up at the end of this. It's just pretty much different angles of the same story. Um, this person is, they just keep going back and forth. They know they're not happy, but they're trying to deny it. And they're just kind of telling themselves like, hey, and they're bringing offers to people though. Like that's the thing. They're bringing gestures to people, small gestures, right? It's like, hey, let's... Well, probably not. Let's hang out. But hey, um, let's uh, talk on the phone. And hey, you know, I, I, care, I still care about you. You know, things like that. It's like minor gestures like that. You know, they're putting out the feelers. That's the that's the crappy part. That's the crappy part there. That needs to stop. What is a blockage? I mean, like, I'm so tired of this person. Give me a new story. <laughs> 
All right, well, what is the blockage? Like, why? what's going on? What's the blockage for this person, for this character? Why can't they make a get? Dag on decision. You know, the difference now, though, is that the truth actually came out for them. Like, they were, they had a feeling, but they weren't sure. Now it seems like, oh, the truth is out. <laughs> And they are trying to avoid it like the plague. All right, what's going on? What is going on? What's a blockage for a Taurus? Whew, what's a blockage for Taurus? Mm. <laughs> oh, you, you, you stubborn little something. Okay, here we are with the Ace of Arrows coming out again. I would suggest um, check out the uh, New Moon is it new moon new moon in gemini reading that i did this ace of swords it keeps coming out for everyone it's, it's come out for i did six readings seven readings so far and it's come out for at least five okay this ace of arrows in reverse and it also came out in that new moon in gemini reading like three times people the truth has come out with that full moon scorpio energy and now with the new moon in gemini energy the truth is like too hard to bear for a lot of us that's the challenge for us right now are you going to face the truth and make your move or are you going to double down and just keep denying because everyone is everyone has a choice whether they can deny right now deny the truth that came to light that's coming out as your blockage the denial not facing the truth okay we do have the nine of wands coming out here this is like this is wounded warrior energy. You're just, you keep pushing for something that's just, you know it's not working. You know the truth now. You know it's not working. You know why it's not working. You know that it's not just a phase at this point. You know that it's something actually, uh, you're actually being divinely guided into another direction, right? It's not something that'll pass over. So someone needs to take the lead here. The King of Pentacles along with the Six of Arrows. Taking the lead to move on to calmer waters. Some of you guys might be in something that's a little bit tumultuous. Or whatever. It's just something that's just not working. It's not making. It's not working. All right? You need to face the truth about that and then move forward. All right? Easier said than done. I get it. But, I mean, with this storyline, this has been going on for the past couple of months. And it's just like, dude, just like make a decision. And stop dipping your toe in, in, in other people's pool. <laughs> All right. What are they feeling to see? It's the pentacles. Look at that. You're stepping into a new opportunity. Look, you're being pulled for a reason. It's not yeah. like you're just being pulled out of a relationship just for just for a, a shits and giggles. Okay. You're actually being pulled into. Some of you guys, you know the opportunity that you're being pulled into. This could be another person. It could be a job. Okay, it's something that you know, you're like, I'm feeling so pulled to this person and I don't know if it's it's just a phase. I'm feeling pulled to this person, but it just doesn't, I don't know. Maybe I can just get it out of my system in a couple of months. And you're realizing, no, this is actually a real opportunity for happiness for you. Okay, a real stable opportunity for you. And now you're coming to terms with it or whoever. Now someone's finally realizing the truth of the situation. It's not a fluke. It's not a phase. It's a real thing, okay? All right. What else are they feeling to say? Ten of arrows. <sighs> now, rec the, rec the, the realization that this is a real thing is becoming a burden for this person. Because now they can't even ignore it anymore. They know. They know. We have the two sixes here. Six of wands with the six of um six of swords. They know with this opportunity they can win. It can give them the whatever it is that they want, whether it's financial security or emotional security. They know that this thing is a prize. Well, I didn't mean to say prize, but that's what came out. They're looking at it as a prize. Someone might be looking at you as their prize. And it made whatever situation that they're in, it it um it, it dampened the um uh, the flame or um it, it yeah. It dampened whatever passion they had. Like it made whatever situation they're in pale in comparison to you. That's what's happening. All right? 
and now that's becoming a burden. That's becoming a burden and it's painful. Because they can't unsee it. They can't unknow the truth. But they're trying. They're trying to avoid it. Um, this isn't the only sign that's doing this. Actually, I think... Um, oh, why do I want to say Scorpio? I don't know. Um, but there's another sign, too, that's like really trying to avoid the truth here. There's a, there's a couple of signs that's doing this. Because this is a collective challenge for everyone. There's a truth that came out in the last cycle. And now we have a choice of how we want to handle the truth. If we want to face it. And move forward, move accordingly or not. All right, but that advice. Another six, six of pentacles here. Whoever this is, they know that they're banging their head against the wall. They, they've reached a point. They've gotten stagnant in whatever situation they're in. It's not giving them equal reciprocity. They know this, but they keep trying anyway. They're being stubborn. They just don't want to face the fact that they made the wrong choice. That's pretty much it. They're trying to avoid a tower. Allow the tower to come down. Allow for this crumbling to happen. It already crumbled. All right. This is a tough reading. You're going to miss out on this opportunity. All right. If you don't allow it to happen. Your advice with the page of cups right here. It's to move forward on this ace of pentacles. Whatever this opportunity is that you feel so drawn to, whatever this prize is, someone needs to bring an offer to this person. Okay? Someone needs to do that or they're going to miss out. That's what's happening here. All right? Let's see what the romance angels have to say. We'll do the romance. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. What do we have here? Romantic feelings. Wow. Beautiful. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Some of you guys were denying it. Some of you guys were looking at it like, oh, it's just a phase. It's a fluke, whatever. It's just an X and, you know, whatever. And just coming up with all types of reasons. No. The feelings are real, okay? We have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other, okay? This is what needs to happen. Now, for, for a lot of you guys, it seems like you guys are in a, co a commitment right now, okay? And you're, you're being led to someone else. With that being said, you need to have a heart-to-heart -heart with both parties. First of all, have a heart-to-heart -heart with yourself and really stop ignoring, like, the, the truth of the situation. Then I'll have a heart-to-heart -heart with your spouse, and then have a heart to heart with the person that is your prize. You know, that's what needs to happen. All right, let's see what the power animal advice is. I mean, I get it. Someone didn't want to be impulsive. They wanted to make sure that this was the right thing before they moved on. I get it. But now the truth is coming out and someone is afraid of the truth. <laughs> Hawk spirit, let spirit be your guide. Yeah, you're being guided, okay? whoever this is resonating with, all right? If this is you or the other person, that person who is being guided towards their prize, they're being intuitively guided here. They need to allow themselves to trust their intuition here. Oh, wow. Moth spirit. They need to <laughs> surrender. Surrender to spirit here, okay? That's what's happening. Be flexible. You might have had an idea of like, oh, yes, I'm with this person and that's just what it's going to be, you know? Um, you have this whole idea, a mental um, picture of what this was, but now you're stepping into a cycle where your mind has to align with your heart space. Okay. Um, when it comes to love, it's like not doing things that are because it's, uh, the right thing to do or not choosing a spouse that makes sense. Your heart is speaking right now. It's screaming at you saying, Hey, we got to do something different. You want love. We got love right here for you. And it's time for you to be a bit more flexible and what you think this is. Um, some of you guys, you might have an idea of what, the love is supposed to look like you might have a type or something like that and you might not be sure why you're so drawn to a certain person or a certain opportunity you need to surrender to that because they have something for you it's a gift it's a gift from the universe they have something for you all right all right some people are being prideful wow some people are being prideful they don't want to admit that they need this person all right if this is um if this is someone that you're dealing with they don't want to admit that they need you Okay. They realize that they need you and they that's scaring them. So they just don't want to face it. They're just like, nope, that's not the person. Nope. I'm good on my own. I'm good right here where I am. Them needing you is scary. All right. Now we have two cards here. 
double confirmation okay spirit has your back and let spirit be your guide okay eagle spirit and hawk spirit all right some of you guys look at that it, it looks like a king and a queen almost right emperor and empress i feel like some of you guys yeah <sighs> someone met their match and is scaring the crap out of them surrender now surrender to your match you met your match or this person met their match. Someone met their match and they're scared. Shitless. Um, flamingo spirit, embrace it in between. Take your time with this, but don't be shady about it. Like, you're dipping your toes in the water. Stop being so shady. Okay? If you're the one that, that is their prize, you know that they're being shady about this. You probably already know it. All right? Okay. Wow. Be true to yourself. Okay? You deserve it, Taurus. Go get it. Go get what you want. All right. Go get the love you want. Go get the love you desire. All right. And be flexible enough to change the tracks when need be. That's the problem right now. It's the, the lack of flexibility. You have this idea. You probably already had it mapped out of what you were going to do with this person that you were currently with. And the universe came through like, no, we got other plans for you. You know, God laughs at our plans, right? Look at that. Go forward fearlessly. Okay. Spirit has your back here. Take that leap of faith. It's scary. Yes. Is it worth it? Absolutely. Go for it fearlessly. You got this. You'll be happy for it. Okay. Here's a prayer. Thank you for walking with me every step of the way, for holding my hand, giving me confidence and courage and guiding my thoughts and actions in the direction of love and my true life's purpose. This person has something for you and it's outside. I feel like it's more than just love. Okay, or if it's you, um, and they're and you're their prize, I feel like you, 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 you're, you two coming together, your union is going to be more than just a love thing. I feel like there's a bigger purpose here for you guys coming together, and that's why they're being so, um, drawn and pushed towards you. Okay, wow, this is deep. This looks like a, a union of some sort in the making. This is really beautiful. Um, let me know in the comments what's going on. Um, also, feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment. Add me on IG. That's Taryn Hill. Also, um, I do personal reading. Check out the info box below. Um, if you'd like to be an angel donor, whoop, whoop, you can do that now. Okay, I have the Patreon link down below. Thank you so much. And until